Are we in focus? Yes, we are. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe. This is your one stop for everything dry skin, complexion. We go over it all, which is why today I decided to make a video. The Sephora sale is starting this Friday, if you're rouge. And I was thinking, hey, I'm going to make a video all for you with dry skin. My top recommendations and the things that I think would really benefit you for dry skin. So if you're interested to see exactly the recommendations I have, these are items I've tried, I've purchased, I own, then go ahead and keep on watching. If you are rouge, you get 20% off. That's a lot. That's a lot of a percentage off. If you're VIB, you get 15% off, and that starts on April the 13th, it goes to the 19th, and if you're an insider, which means it's free to be an insider, guys. It doesn't matter how much money you spent, 10% off, and that starts on the 15th. What I've noticed with these sales, things sell, and they sell fast. So I keep your eye out for some things. I mean, you can't beat it if you're not rouge, but that's okay. You'll still have your items, just make sure you're ready to go. I'll have everything linked down below. If you're interested in what I'm personally picking up, from the Sephora sale, I'll have those linked link down below too. Everything I'm mentioning, I already own though, so I, pro I won't be picking those up. They're such a good base. So the first thing is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser. We'll just start from the very basic complexion-wise and then move up. This cleanser has actually been my most purchased cleanser ever. I think I've owned three or four of these in my entire lifetime. Why? Because the price. $22 for five ounces is actually really reasonable for a high-end cleanser. Second, there is no scent. Third, it has the most hydrating consistency for dry skin, and it strips your makeup off without taking away your skin's natural oils. The feeling of this, I mean, you just have to try it out because it's very hydrating. And keep an eye out for a future video. I'm going to be doing a video all about the best dry cleansers for dry skin. Guilty plug. The next product is also a cleanser, and this is by The Inky List. Now, if you have dry skin, but you're also prone to breakouts, like your one and only, this is going to be the cleanser for you. It's $9.99 for five ounces. Whew, I mean, can can we even get over that price? Just norm, regularly only $10 for five ounces of cleanser. This has salicylic acid, which is going to really help reduce, this has blackheads and breakouts. I've been using this for over a month now and I am obsessed. It has the same consistency as the Kiehl's because it's really hydrating, really clings to your skin, takes away that makeup, but doesn't take away your natural oils. But on top of that, the salicylic acid does help those blemishes. I am have just been so impressed with this product. I also went ahead and picked up, what is it? The Fulvic Acid Brightening Cleanser. I picked it up too. I've got it upstairs. I haven't used it yet, but that's also a great option. The Ordinary, I mean, they just have so many good, basically their products are more like ingredient based, one single ingredient, which I really like. And I've been using the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% and I've actually gone through a whole bottle and I just picked up my second one. So I'd highly recommend this. First of all, the price just normally is only $5.90. I recommend using this if you have dry skin, right, normal skin, combination skin, oily skin, because niacinamide really helps to smooth your complexion, brighten, and it also helps with sebum production. And sebum production is basically what it is brewing beneath the surface, and that's kind of what happens with breakouts. So I've been using this religiously for several months, and I love it. I do notice a difference in my skin. I do feel like it's smoother, and I do feel like it helps keep my breakout somewhat at bay. But one thing to remember when using this is you definitely need to be using some kind of hyaluronic acid, moisturizer. You need to be hydrating your skin when you are using this. Another item from The Ordinary that I'm just so intrigued about. This is actually one I haven't tried, but I am going to pick up this sale, and I highly recommend for you to try it as well. I've been obsessed with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. It has been amazing for my dry skin. It really hydrates without messing with your foundation, your primer. It's amazing. It helps with dry patches, but it's so expensive. This Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil is a whopping $42. And uh, because of that, I think a lot of people hesitate to buy it. So I've been looking for an alternative and it looks like The Ordinary. They have the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil 
which has amazing reviews. It's only $9.80. It comes with one ounce. I'm really hoping it can do the same as this oil by being a good primer, by being a good hydrator. I feel like with dry skin oils, are the way to go. If your moisturizers tend to sit on top of your skin, but oils just really sink in and give you that inner glow. Moving on to the next one is sunscreen. Guys, we're moving into these hot summer months. We are almost there. Some of you have already been there. Some of you live in Florida, Hawaii. I don't know, you guys live in awesome warm places. Some of us live in uh, frigid tundras, but we're getting closer, the sun is out. And although we should have, I should have been more diligent about wearing my sunscreen in the winter, I'm very diligent about wearing my sunscreen now. So this is the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. I have very sensitive skin. I can't use any kind of SPF with my skin or else I do break out. It's SPF 40, broad spectrum, and when you apply it, you literally cannot see it. It's the perfect primer, hydrates your skin, it's well under makeup, blends out beautifully, so I highly recommend that. How much is it usually? I actually just purchased the the big version. They have one that's bigger than this size. This is, I like to splurge on an SPF on my face and then with everything else in my body, I just use basic things from like Walmart or Costco, things like that. But with my face, I'm very, very, very picky and this has just been amazing. All right, moving on, we are into foundation skin tints. If you can get it at a discount, this is the time to get it and that's the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. I thought it was called the Hint Tint Skin Tint for some reason. Um, it's SPF 30 and I have just really truly enjoyed this. Is it, it is expensive, it's $42 for 0.54 ounces so you're really not getting a lot of product but I also feel like a little bit of this goes a long way. It blends out so beautifully, leaves your skin looking so natural and hydrated, and you can easily put a cream contour on this, a cream blush, and you are ready to go. I do know that Milk Makeup is making refills for this that are supposed to be a lot more affordable, so once you buy it initially, you can just then get the refill, but this has been a great tint that I've just been raving about. But if you're also not wanting to spend the money on a skin tint, just use a cream contour, cream blush, and some concealer. And there you go. That's like all you need. And if you haven't seen, actually, it won't be out yet. I have filmed a video about my no foundation foundation routine, which is like what I'm wearing today. Zero foundation, super easy products you probably already have at home. And you should definitely check that video out. Subscribe because it's gonna be out on Monday. I almost forgot to mention, another honorable mention, this primer. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. You guys, this is one of these the best primers for dry skin. I go in with my oil and then I go in with this. The texture of it like literally cannot be beat. I'll show it to you on my finger. Look at that. It's a texture that I've never experienced before. It's very silky, just so... I love it, it's a, I'm obsessed with it. I actually already have a backup, but it's so hard to pay full price. I think this is about $30 regularly, so right now would be the best time to get it. This will last you the entire summer. Really give you that nice, hydrated glow. Do a little bit of your cream contour, maybe a little bit of your auric glow lust, and bam, you're ready to go for the summer. You know, it's all about keeping that skin hydrated and easy. Now we are getting into some cream products. Cream contour and cream blush, I've talked a lot about these and there are, there's a brand, Fenty Beauty of course, that I have just been so impressed with their cream formulas. This is the All Out Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer and I'm in the shade Teddy. I do like to go just a little bit darker with this, which is why I have the shade Teddy. This blends out so beautifully. I've used it today. It gives you just that nice chisel but keeps your skin really hydrated and beautiful. And that's what I like to use after my primer. And then if you like a cream blush, which I highly recommend getting this cream blush, Cheeks Out Blush. And this is in the shade Strawberry Drip, but I also have the shade Rose Latte. Now the cream blushes aren't too bad on their own. They're about $20. And if you have your discount on top of that, oh my gosh, such a deal. But this will last you so long. I like this one because it's more brown and bronzy, but they have a coral one, which I might just have to pick up for summer. And these are kind of like gonna be your best friends this summer with your SPF primer and everything. These are what's going to make the difference to, to give your skin more of that hydrated look. A couple more things. This one's a splurge, but ooh, is it worth the freaking splurge? And that's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. And this is in the shade Luminous Light. It's just the most beautiful light setting powder. It literally, you just take this, boom, boom, boom. 
because after your cream products, you do want to kind of set that in place. If you feel like it, if you're just going to the pool or something, it's not a big deal. You don't need to set things out. But if you're not, if you're just running around the neighborhood and you just don't want to feel a little bit sticky or things are slipping around, I highly recommend picking this up. It comes with a huge pan size. It is expensive. It's about $50 or $45, but it has the biggest pan size. It will last you this entire summer, make probably even longer. And it really sets things and gives you that luminosity without taking away your natural oils or making you feel dry. And I just am a big fan of this stuff. I went through this entire palette last year, such a good deal. And then I had to pick up this ghost palette. This is limited edition, but that's just how much I love the Hourglass products. Especially if you have a drier complexion, they are going to become your holy grails. Totally worth the splurge. Then a couple last things I recommend. I have been using this Fenty Beauty Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. I love this. I was very hesitant. I did not think I'd like it at all, but it has just been, the sprayer is nice, the scents even just so subtle and so nice, and the packaging is absolutely beautiful. I don't think it makes your makeup last longer throughout the day, it's just a very good pick-me-up and something that brings your makeup a little bit more back to life after applying that powder. The last product I recommend for you if you have dry skin, which probably means you have dry lips, and that will be the Laneige Sleeping Mask. I purchased this about a year ago on a whim. I didn't think it'd be anything crazy or noteworthy, but no, it has been absolutely amazing. I wear it every single night before I go to sleep. If my lips are dry in the morning, I put it on then, but it has just been such a good, product and it lasts so long. And this summer, you are going to need that. I think the only thing I wish that I had was SPF inside of it, but it's $20, you get your discount, and your lips will forever be plump. Anyway, I hope you found some items in this video that will you know, really help you out and make you feel bomb this summer. That's all I could ever ask for for you. So if you have any recommendations for me, dry skin related, any products that you feel like I should definitely pick up, Definitely let me know in the comments down below. I have been picking up some foundations, CC cream, skin tints, because you guys, I'm gonna start filming for my 10 days of foundation. I still don't know what this series is gonna be called, but it's going to be coming in a couple months here. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.